Hi guys, welcome back or welcome to my YouTube channel. So I am back again with another manga haul, but this time it will be a little bit different because it will be my birthday manga haul slash collective haul. Um, my birthday was a month ago. It's May now. I'm I'm now just filming this because I didn't move house, so I stopped filming for a bit. But I am back again, and since it's my birthday manga haul, I decided to um. Wrap my manga and then on haul these. I got inspired by my manga space. I'll link her video down below so you guys can go check it too. I was watching her video way back then. I was like, oop. I want to do that too because it looks so fun. It's two different wrappings. I don't think anyone cares, but I want to show anyway. This is ice cream popsicle and this is a tropical leaf. And guys, my wrapping is so good. I was never this good at wrapping present. But like since they're books, they're pretty easy. And I was like, wow, I was impressed with myself. But okay, um, let's just get started. Start with this one right here. What's this? Oh shoot, I can't open it. Oh, okay so you guys didn't know i have the whole manga for season four part two and why i have this it's because i sold mine because mine was damaged and i wanted mine like in good condition and then i'm surprised that someone actually bought my one thirty three. so i bought a new one one thirty three, and it looks really nice compared to the first one i bought so yeah, that's Attack of Titan. I'm excited for part three. I know a lot of people complain about like the parts, like season four, part one, part two, part three. But honestly, I'm not complaining because it's my favorite anime. So let's go with this tropical one again. Guys, the wrapping is so good. Oh, I know what it is. <laughs> the cover, like this part, I know what it is already. This is like so easy. It is Chainsaw Man Volume 2. This is the second to last volume for Chainsaw Man Part 1 of the manga. I feel like Part 2 of the manga won't even come out in like 5 years from now. I mean like the physical copy release. Like I'm not even exaggerating. I feel like it's just gonna take that long. Yeah, but whatever. But yes, this is... Point 10, this is Makima. Oh my gosh, she looks so good. Time for the ice cream. By the way, I have like more ice cream. Yeah. And this one is like pretty big too. I don't know what this is, but let's see. Okay, Princess Jellyfish is volume 2. If you watched my manga haul like back then, I got Princess Jellyfish. But I never got volume 2 and volume 1 because I had already watched the anime and then I just picked up the manga from there. Because I kind of lose interest easily if I already like know the plot and everything. So that's why I never picked up volume 2 and 1. But I decided to, you know, I need to complete this series like ASAP. ASAP, but... I never got to. My one was out of stock, so I just didn't care to pick it up. Like, I'll just buy it next time when it comes back and song on Right Stub. I bought this from Right Stub and then Chainsaw Summer and the Attack Titan. It's about friendship and there's also fashion involved in here too, so that's really nice because. Ooh, I love these kind of manga. Yep, and that's it for Princess Jellyfish. Hopefully, volume one comes back in stock and I can get it. Okay, and then I have another ice cream. What is this? Wait, I see the back, but I don't know what it is. Well, there's only three out right now. I got 
volume one two three of my love mix up oh my god i've heard so much praise about this manga saying it's like so good you have to read it asap but i never picked it up and read it yet because i heard that it's like a kind of bl i was not ready to get into that genre yet but i decided to pick it up because Literally everybody in the modern community, well, the ones that I follow at least, loves my love mix up so much. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna get it. And I remember previewing my love mix up, like the first chapter online. And I really liked it actually. I'm not gonna read it yet though, because the release is so slow. So I'm just gonna wait until, I don't know, because the release are so slow, I think each one comes out every three months or four months yeah but i mean i could at least binge but i just don't want to because i know i will get into this and i'll be so impatient for the next release so from what i know um this guy here has a crush on her but he thinks she has a crush on him because he borrows her eraser and then her eraser says his name on it and he actually drops it and then he sees the eraser and then now thinks that he likes him um that's pretty confusing i think i should just read it here here i have this big one actually it's not big it's just yeah um Here I have volume 4 through 6 of Daytime Shooting Star. I have the first three and I decided to buy these three. I feel like I should just hurry up and buy it and finish collecting this series. So I don't have to get it next time but I only got three. This is a love triangle kind of-ish between these three. The sensei, classmate, and this girl. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like when I talk about series, I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm just kind of like saying whatever. Until the next. What is this? Oh, okay. So it is volume 6 of those not so sweet boys. I haven't really continued reading the. I think I will wait for a couple more volumes. Actually, I think volume 7 is the last one because I know that this author, their mangas are really short. So maybe this one will end on volume 7. I don't know. And guys, I dropped this manga. So the spine here right here is kind of damaged. But it's whatever. I know that I only like read the first volume of those not so sweet boys, but I think this manga is just okay. It's not like my favorite, I think it's just okay, you know. Another tropical one. Tropical leaves, one of our wrapping. What is this? What is that? Why are all the manga like upside down? <laughs> Okay, I have volume 3 and 4 of Livro Matsunaga-san. I still haven't read this at all. I don't know. I think I'll just keep collecting it though, like slowly. So it's been a while since I bought these, so I did have them on the shelf right here where Livro Matsunaga-san is. And I did notice that volume 3 is shorter than the other volumes. So if you guys are like collecting the living room matsunaga-san um make sure to look out for volume three i mean if you do care though you don't care then yeah forget it but yeah volume three is like shorter than the other volume and it it does bother me but i just kind of forget about it like i would like it's not the end of the world you know just look out for volume three you're getting volume three okay um yeah from what I know, this is like a boarding house with these other young adults and this is the age gap romance. Okay, next one. Hopefully this isn't upside down. Mm, I don't know. What is this? Oh, it's upside down again. <laughs> okay. Oh, guys, I talk about 
this series every single of my manga video it is nana it is volume four and five of nana because they finally came back in stock and you know i'm so happy bro the reprints need to hurry up i swear this is the six printing so like in this is the six printing for volume five and then volume four eighth printing so guys i want to apologize you guys hear noise in the background because my fam decides to clean when i'm filming so that's it for no no my hand reach for another ice cream <gasps> guys can you tell what it is i can tell already <laughs> And it is volume 7, a spy family or spy X family, however you guys like to say it. The anime came out and I'm loving it. I just have a little, I don't know if it's just me, but the episodes are going by really fast. Like it's kind of rush. But other than that, the anime, the opening, the ending, whew, everybody and their mother loves spy fam. Hi, Damien is on the cover. The release are so slow, guys. They come out like every, I think, every four months for Spy Fam. This just released, and then the next release will probably be in the fall. And that's Spy Fam for y'all. Okay, next up. It's Kami Sama Cuts. Guys, I low-key regret not getting to manga literally a long time ago because now my Kami Sama Kiss collection will never be complete. This is volume one Kami Sama Kiss. Mm -hmm. This is the reprint of it, so I'm curious how many reprint this has. This is the 10th reprint. And the first printing was back in 2010 when I was like, what, six years old? I love Kami Samaka so much. I just like realized that now. <laughs> oh, I love how Tomoe gets like a little jealous. It's just so cute, nice. <sighs> okay, next one. I have this. I don't know what this is. And I don't know. I feel like it's gonna be flipped here. Maybe this way, huh? What is this actually? Ooh, okay. Oh, okay. And it is the Apothecary Dies Volume 3 and 4. I have read Volume 3 already because I did buy it a while ago. Just didn't have time to film the haul. And then Volume 4, I recently got it from a Right Stuff haul. It has been a really fun read while reading the Apothecary Diaries. I never thought we would like something like this too. Well, this is about our main girl named Mau Mau. She is an imperial food taster and a herbalist. A long way, she also solves these mysteries that happens inside the palace. Oops, sorry for that. But also, she is just really funny too. So, I recommend this manga for y'all. Alright guys, so there's only three left. I'll show you guys. There's one really big one. There's these two small ones. So let's say the big one for the last one. Like always, like that's what everybody says. Ooh, it's the ice cream. Okay. What is this? Oh my gosh, guys! It's upside down. But it is Yakuza Fiance Raise Watani Gai. I I think I talk about this manga every single one of my manga videos too. So I won't talk too much about this, but I the cover just says it all. I got volume six of Yakuza Fiance in Japanese because it's not in English yet. It's coming out soon though. But I think I still plan to collect the Japanese volume just to support the author. Um, I'm gonna take out the banner so you guys can see the full cover of it. Okay. 
this is how the full cover looks like but the inside the flap you can unfold it and bring it out wow ooh, 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 ooh. and they are so hot like they can step on me i swear Basically, this is about an arranged marriage between two Yakuza clans and this isn't much a romance at all. There's actions and bloody, really pretty explicit with profanity and sexual content. And our characters are pretty cool, like really cool and they're badass, especially our main character. But yeah, this isn't much a romance at all, but it's still really good because like I said, the characters are really badass. On to the second to last one for the small one. Let's open it. Hmm. Ooh, okay. And then it's volume four of Skip and Loafer. So I only read the first volume, and then after that, I never got to read volume two and three because I was waiting for volume four, but then I feel like I want to wait until. Oh, so many volumes come out because this is a slow release too. Which kind of sucks. To the last manga, and it is like a big one right here. <laughs> this is the last manga, and then the next clip will just be um my body home. Yeah. Right. Hold on, I feel like the one that's gonna fall. <laughs> Wait, no, it's this side, actually, the front. Oh, shoot. Oh. As you guys can see, I got Winter Koi. I finally cave in about Winter Koi. I got the first four volume because... Hold on. I got the first four one from Akari, so from a second seller. I watched the anime and I really liked it. It's something I liked, so I was like, okay, you know what? I'll buy the manga. I like I like the anime, so I'll collect the manga. So right now I'm only missing volume five and six. Six is coming out next month. I already pre-ordered that. I just need to buy volume five. And now that I'm complete with the set. When this came, it had a funny smell to it. It smelled like banana. Uh but it's okay, I already like washed the cover and then the smell went away. Okay, that's it for the... <laughs> okay, that's it for the manga segment. I'll see you guys in the next clip. And let me know you guys have some recommendations. And... And, um, yeah, these are basically the April and pre-orders and then some manga that I bought in May. Hi guys, I have a package to unbox. I haven't done unboxing for a while now. I haven't done one in a while, so here it is. And I decided not to package this because um, there's kind of no point because you guys will see why. I'm so excited. Oh, and also I bought this like at 2 a.m. in the morning. You know, I was just like one day, I woke up out of nowhere and then when I phone, I saw that this was in stock, so I just bought it at 2 a.m. <gasps> oh, <gasps> OMG. <gasps> Guys. Okay. Oh my gosh. Yay. This is my first Nendori and it is Power from Chainsaw Man. How exciting. I bought this from the Control store. It is from Good Smile Company though, well, made by them. Yeah, um, um, <laughs> oh my god. This is my first Nendori and I do plan to collect some more Nendors like Denji. He is still out of stock, so I'll get him whenever he comes back in stock. And I do plan to get Mikasa and Jolene. So yeah, but this is my first Nandoi and I'm gonna unbox it. Well, this is her. Okay, there she is. I was gonna go for, for this pose, but they ended up with like this one instead. I don't know how it ended up like this, but 
it's still good. No, I'm not complaining. But the thing is that it took me like 20 minutes to assemble her. And she keeps on moving tilting and um, I don't really know what to do. See, she keeps tilting when I move at her. Like, if you want to sleep, just say so. Here, you can... Yeah, that works. Yep, she can lean on volume 9. And I'm going to save the box because I still have, like, her other pose and head and her cat, too. Oh, my God. I'm so sorry if it keeps going out of focus. I don't know why. And... Again, I bought this from Control Store. I don't know why I'm uploading this, but I, I'll keep you guys updated if it's still in stock. Anyways, that's it, and I'll see you guys in the next clip. Hi guys, so this part right here is my buy haul from Japan. So I use buy a proxy service to buy goods from Japan. So like I only use Macari and Amazon Japan, but there are some other like Japanese shop where you can shop using the Buy proxy service. And I'll have the link to Buy down below so you guys can go check it out too. I mostly only buy like um, anime goods, manga, merch, yeah. So that's why this is here. Um, I'll show this first. So right here is the Kiss Me at the Stroke of Midnight art book. I finally, finally got my hands on this because um, this is a limited edition. So when I saw this posted, I was like, oh my gosh, I have to get it. But in order for me to get this, I had to buy... Um, this was a bundle with two other series of manga. And I don't have the mangas with me right now, but yeah, it came with a bundle and just not this, but I don't have the manga right now. This is how the art book looks like. It's super thin, by the way. And it's like in super good condition, like brand new. Oh my god, the art is so dreamy and fun. So cute. Okay, and that's it for this one right here. Another art book that I'm gonna share is the Love of Kale art book. And I didn't know there was even an art book. Be um, one day I was just scrolling Twitter and I saw that someone posted about this and they were like, oh my god, I just got my art book. And I was like, wait, there's an art book for Love of Kale? I need that and I'm gonna get it. So you guys don't know, Love of Kale is an action crime manga and I don't have the manga because I'm not sure about collecting it because it is like, I don't know. Because like I watched the anime, I love the anime, so I already know the plot and like, everything about it. So I'm not sure about collecting the manga. So I was like, okay, I'm just gonna collect the art book for now, and maybe in the future I'll collect the manga. This is the bag. They're so cute, the chibi version. I'm just gonna do a quick flip through for the art book. I'll just start at the end. So this manga, there isn't much romance going on. It's actually a slow burn. But I still really, really love this man manga and anime because I don't know, it's just so cute how he's um he teased her a lot. Okay, maybe I'll pick up the manga. Oh 
Wow, oh my god, I didn't even see this before. Love of Kill Casino. That's so cute. And then comes up these like, ugh, I don't know what these are called. Yeah, I don't know what these are called. <laughs> but yeah, um, this one is actually my favorite piece right here. Like, they're just like so badass. The guns, they're fit. Oh, look at that. Yeah, this is my favorite one. cover the volumes cover yeah it is yep oh and that's it for the love of kill art book i really love this art book they're so cute next here it is yakuza fiance so earlier i did show um volume six but i didn't show the postcard that came with it so it came with these two postcards. This is, these are like postcards that are given to you if you buy it in person. So that's why I buy it from Makari U so I could get these postcards too. This is the back of this one. This is just a volume stick cover. And this is of Yoshino. And then I also have this one too. I bought this separately. It has Yoshino and Kirishima. And I don't have Shoma because it didn't come with it. I don't see anyone selling Shoma. So I wasn't able to get his. But this is Kirishima his. This is the back. The last two items are these two postcards. This is... Oops. This is Shrike Cake and this is Tsubaki Chorong Pen. I've actually been eyeing this for a while now, but um, I just finally got it now. They're so nice. I actually have this display uh, next to Daytime Shooting Star. Okay, that's it for my buy haul. And thank you so, so much for watching until here. If you did, and let me know if you guys like anything that I showed here. I'll have all the links down below. I'll see you guys next time. So peace out, you guys. <laughs>